do you do? Why do you do Nosferatu after Murmur? There are many reasons for it. One reason is that uh, Nosferatu, in my opinion, is the most important film ever made in Germany. So this is some sort of a challenge. And it establishes some sort of a link between the great expressionist cinema that we had in Germany and our film renaissance now. It is a, a film that is beyond my own private person. And I think um, it is necessary, since we are a fatherless generation, to have some sort of a continuity in film history. And maybe one more reason could be that for the first time, movie itself with its principles and its laws and its grammar is subject to some extent for me. For the first time I do a genre film and I follow the laws of the genre. And that of course is a difficulty and a challenge for me. But more than anything else it is a question of establishing a, a link between the great legitimate German cinema of the 20s. Werner Herzog is one of the leading figures of the new German cinema. Along with contemporaries Reiner Werner Fassbender and Wim Wenders, he's bringing an international recognition to films in Germany almost equal to that of the 1920s. Herzog has chosen for his latest film a subject that has long fascinated filmmakers and film goers, the subject of vampires. His film is called Nosferatu, the Romanian word for the undead. I'm Jim Whaley, and on this program, we'll watch Werner Herzog at work making Nosferatu. It's altogether fitting that Herzog should choose this subject, since one of his stated aims is to recapture some of the glory that was once the German cinema. Nosferatu was filmed originally in Germany in 1922 by F.W. Murnau, universally considered one of the greatest of all filmmakers. Murnau's film was based on Bram Stoker's 1897 novel Dracula, a book that has spawned countless screen treatments, most of them varying quite sharply from the original. Bela Lugosi was, of course, the American studio's answer to Dracula, starring in the 1932 film made by Universal. From then on, we had Son of Dracula, Daughter of Dracula, Billy the Kid meets Dracula, and on and on. Not until the late 50s was anything resembling a serious attempt made to film the Stoker book as written, when Britain's Hammer films made horror of Dracula with Christopher Lee. Werner Herzog is the first to point out that his is not a remake of Nosferatu, but a rebirth of the 1922 Murnau film. Unstinting in his praise of that early film, he says, Murnau's Nosferatu is the most visionary of all German films. It prophesized the rise of Nazism by showing the invasion of Germany by Dracula and his plague-bearing rats. We are trying to build a thin bridge back to that time to legitimize our own culture and cinema. The German cinema of the 1920s is still considered perhaps the most venturesome in the history of motion pictures. Filmmakers such as G.W. Pabst, Murnau, and Fritz Lang made a series of expressionistic films notable for their often macabre plots, inventive camera work, and impressionistic sets. 
Films such as The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, The Golem, and Metropolis set a standard later imitated by Hollywood. With the advent of Hitler, however, Germany lost many of its most creative talents, and the German cinema went into a decline only to recover in the 1960s and 70s. If the German cinema is to regain anything like its former eminence, it will probably be in the works of Werner Herzog. And although Herzog tremendously admires his country's cinema heritage, his is clearly a contemporary vision, no better reflected than in his treatment of Nosferatu. Normally film is being made by young people. It's something for, for those who work with their knees and their arms. Like uh, it's, no, it's painful. Most of it is painful. People don't believe it that it's how painful it is, but it's worthwhile because it's dignified work and therefore I don't care. We have great problems. Well, we have great problems with uh, permissions here and every single step here is extremely difficult. I have worked in in countries that were extremely difficult, but here it's also, and it's also always a lot of, a lot of pain, a lot of work. But that, that, that does not count. The only thing that counts is what you see from the screen. So, and we, we will have a good film, I think. Thank you. Why is it painful? Make a film for a director. It has uh, to do with uh, not only with performing of some work, it is also something that has to do with one's existence. And if that is not too easy, then of course filmmaking is not too easy and it causes pain. And all my films, maybe if you have seen any, come out from pain. That's the source. That's where they come from, not from pleasure. It's a pain which comes from your deep inside. I do not want to speak about it. Look at my hands. <laughs> one hand open, one fist closed. <laughs> Bitte marschieren, Signal. Dem, da hier ist das Signal. Komm, die sehen es nicht. Alles. Dem, Signal zurück. Alle Leute zurück, die schlafen. Okay. Die haben es nicht gesehen. Okay, bye. Alles zurück, die verschlafen das Signal. Sag den Vordersten, sie sollen intelligenter jetzt sein. Teil macht ein bisschen eine Kurve. Sonst war es sehr schön schon. Können Sie bitte wieder zurückgehen, alle? Und besides, I personally see Filmmaking is athletic work. I want to work with my body and that gives me an instinct for this whole space that you see here. And I don't like to shoot in, a, in an open space that I have not experienced with my body. You will see me tomorrow, I will run a lot. Uh, that's all I can say about it. Kriegt ihr die von links rein? Ja. Wie ist es, Jörg? Die rechts weiter rechts lassen? Nein, genau so laufen. Ja.
Okay, Jörg. Dreht weiter. Dreht weiter. Geht nicht mehr, die stecken ja alle. Außerdem das ja. Aber wie ist das passiert? Aber ich meine, es macht nichts. Ah ja, gut. Wir haben genug. Wir haben genug. Kopier mal. Sehr schön. Bitte alles zurück. Kerret und Remmel, bitte alle zurück wieder. Bitte alle zurück. Ganz dicht bei der Kamera sein. Dann. Werner Herzog ist atypical by most standards. Film directors generally surround themselves with hordes of assistants. Herzog's crew is comparatively small. He, in fact, does a lot of everything on the set himself. Seemingly, he's everywhere at once, from slating his own scenes to acting out scenes with the heroine of Nosferatu, Isabel Ajani. Day after day, hard speech, and night on to night show with knowledge. Ich verschwind von mir aus aus dem Bild. Oder soll ich weggehen? Herzog has a unique ability to elicit just the sort of performance he wants from his actors. He claims that even though Isabella Gianni won great acclaim working with Francois Truffaut in the story of Adele H, Truffaut was weak with her. Herzog says there is no limit to what she can do as an actress. Zurück schnell. Aber wir haben uns noch mal zurück gehen. und lach schön. Ich will Henning noch mal. Wenn jemand vor der Kamera nicht ducken, durchgehen will. Oh. Als ich vor der Kamera kommt, nicht wirken, nicht nur noch wie der Miet ist. Die Ziege raus. Bring schön nach. Alter, geh raus. <lacht> Und ein bisschen mehr Qualm. Qualm dort vorne. Lache, lache. Tanz mal mit dir. Tanz mal mit dir. Lach mal, hey. Lach mal. Lach mal. Lach mal. Lach mal. Lach mal. Lach mal. Das ist klar, ja. Wir gehen jetzt mal dort vor ins Rathaus. Mundwachen weiter. Schön, was 
Ich sage immer, die Bienen sind da cool. Früher, ihr wollt den Bau. Cool. Ja, ihr wollt drauf bleiben. Und wir machen das dann mit denen, mit denen wir mal gut haben. Das ist dann alles. Und da haben wir dann jetzt mehr Ruhe. Dann sollen sie Sofa mit raustragen. Ja, gut. gut. Ja, ist besser. Isabelle, so stoppen sie doch. Ja, ich würde so sagen. Mach ich das still, du noch hast du gesehen? 97 U2. Die letzten beiden kopieren wir. Die waren auch sehr schön. Halls of manners. This old city has put our passions to sleep. The plague is no disease. It makes us brothers. It is redemption. I proclaim the time of the wrath. Paradise is at hand. Ton, 97 Uhr 8. What is the good of money, of marble halls, of manners? This orderly city has put our passions to sleep. The plague is no disease. It makes us brother. It is redemption. I proclaim the time of the rats. Paradise is at hand. The air about you is holy. Down as fire on a windswept plain, and blood shall be our salvation. Men never know when they are free. The actor Herzog chose to portray Dracula is Klaus Kinski perhaps best known to American audiences as the revolutionary in David Lean's film, Dr. Zhivago. Kinski previously worked with Herzog in A Geyer, Wrath of God. Uh, it's me. It's me because I am, I am Nosferatu in the 
And the Nosferatu picture. So my answer is Nosferatu is me. More than that, I can't explain. And anyway, I think there's no explanation about this because you, you just uh, come and see. And so uh, it's up to you to say or to sing what is Nosferatu. I uh, I don't ex I don't ex understand exactly what it means symbol. I mean, not not only by your question, but uh, anyway, I don't understand what it means symbol. I mean, you can you can you you take it as you want. You know, things in life. I mean, for somebody, it's a, it's a reality, it's real, not fair to, like many other things, are real for somebody and for somebody not. I I know the uh, the uh, Romanian, I think. No, is it Romanian? Where not fair to uh, origin? So they. Uh, they wouldn't allow us to shoot the picture there because they they say it was always deformed by the years and by the cinema. And they are right, I think, a part of the picture by 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 Mona and I think part of our picture. But they they wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't let shoot anybody. If, picture about the Nosferatu story because they take it really serious and uh, it means he's a kind of uh, in this country is a kind of uh, hero hero I don't know what more what else some kind of uh, believing of religion I don't know what I, I, I can't explain <laughs> things but they believe in it, you know? And this is important, what I, this is what I want to say. They believe in it. You believe in it yourself? Uh, of course, I, I, have no be I, have, I have to believe in it. I mean, you, you, if you are something, you, I mean, of course, you automatically you believe in it, but, but you, you have to, to point it out so much. You believe in it, you know? You, you, I never, I can never understand if somebody lives and he says, I, be, I believe in my life. Of course he believes in his life, otherwise he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't live. How come you identify yourself totally with this story? Because it's, it's always happened when I have to interpret, when I have to be a personality, a character. So, uh, I haven't even to identify, to, 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 to identify my, Identify myself. I, I, I just, uh, I just be it. I, I am. I don't know how it, how that works. It was always like that. Tell so. Me about, tell me about the makeup. You mean in your, especially in Nosferatu? Yeah, for me it's very new because. I especially for me it's very new because I refuse all my life long long to be made up in theater and in movie pictures also. And I really disgust it. I mean, <laughs> did I say it right in English? This guy? Yeah. I, I disgust your makeup on my face. And there, in this case, I have to accept it because you, because you, um, the transformation of my ears and so, you know, and it takes a long time, it takes three hours for me, especially for me, it's very strange and very, very, uh, very boring, but I have to accept it, I have to do it, and so. Uh, this is what I want to say before that now I found the word, it's uh, uh, metamorphosis, how you say in English, uh, meta metamorphosis. metamorphosis. That's what you asked me, and that could be my answer when you ask me, uh, how how can you how can you say or how can you feel you uh, to uh, identify yourself with the 
I, I believe in this, uh, in this metamorphosis. I believe in this because it happened with me. It happened always. I mean, I mean, doing a bloody picture or important picture, it happened always with me. So I haven't, I haven't to do so much to the, uh, to 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 arrive at this, to arrive at this point. It it, it just happened. You know? So I, I could never say I have to get in a character or it's very hard to get in a character. I, I would never accept it if it wouldn't be in me. And if I couldn't feel the uh, metamorphosis, I, I would never accept the part. And uh, this is a kind of, I, I don't know, I, I sing you. Uh, it's a kind of, uh, of, uh, of sacred. I can't do, I can't explain, you know. But on the other hand, I could never accept to, to, uh, uh, to be just an actor who, who acts, you know. I never did this in my life. I, I, I always was completely this, this character I had to be. Would you like to be made up for three hours, please? And what? <laughs> no, I hate it. I hate it because I was never made up in my life. I mean, I nearly never made up in my life. So because I also refused to be made up for serial movie pictures. So, and especially for me, it must, must be. You can imagine how how uh, how disgusting it is to be made up three or four hours, you know. But I mean, it's not so long. So long. <laughs> talk about this because it has to be you know it's necessary in this picture because to to make my ears bigger and so and, and as you can see I shift my my head anyway for the but it doesn't bother me so much you like the uh, way you look as Mr. it's not a question of liking you know I, I I look as I have to look if I wouldn't look as I have to look I wouldn't accept it so uh, but uh, we agreed there was uh, tests and so on, and again, how it has to be. And so, and, uh, of course, you accept, you agree in the end. And you don't think about it. it's nice or it's not nice. It's, it's, it's how it has to be. Now, and there is another question, what is nice and what is beautiful and so <laughs> You know, we have, uh, when we did the first stilts, uh, if you want to, somebody could say terrifying. Jörg, das sieht da dann nicht so leicht durch. Ja, ja. Moment, ich muss mal sehen, ob ich den Hügel schon. Klaus Kinski is himself one of the most direct references to Murnau's film. His exaggerated makeup, including the bald head, long pointed ears, is almost identical to that of Max Schreck, the actor Murnau chose to portray Count Orlock, the Dracula of the original film. Herzog takes great care in choosing locations, and as much as each one contributes greatly to the atmosphere he is creating. Die hier ist zu hoch, die ist zu weit weg. 
Naja, Ferret. Wo kommst du gerade hier? Wo kommst du gerade hier? Ah ja, gut. In this sequence, Herzog shoots a scene involving one of the victims of the Count. Herzog, unique though he is, in many ways typifies not only the new German cinema director, but the modern film director as well. Unconventional, he will try almost anything to achieve the result he wants. It is true, however, that in Germany, Herzog enjoys a freedom he might not have were he working in the United States. So, Schauen Sie auf die Klappe, das ist sie. Bitte Ruhe im Hintergrund, da wird zu viel getappt auch. Ton X74 B4. European filmmakers are largely unencumbered by the vast unionization found in America, enabling them to not only work with a more flexible crew, but to, in fact, do much of it themselves. Yes. Yes, well, but only, only for synchronization it's enough, yeah. Because we, yes. Our, our idea is to change, to switch, yeah, switch yeah. the side yes, yes. of your body with a camera and then yes, it would be on the wrong one. Oui. Is, is it difficult or will it, will it spread the red color again like... No. For 10 minutes. Ah, yes. Oh, okay. okay, yes. Then, then I would say, uh, could you wipe <laughs> it away on that side no. and put it on the other side? On va le faire là-haut. We will do it like this. They are very good. They are very, good. Very, good. very, very good. The same. Yes. Because that looks like as if it was two days old or three days old. That is perfect like this. Yeah. Just, or maybe you leave it here. Leave it here and give him a second one over there. Yeah. Yes. He could have two bite marks, that's all right. Are we? Okay. Yeah. Oui, oui. Yeah. Probably we will not see this one, but, but this one here. Okay. Okay, Joshi, this is in Ordnung. So please, no, no, stay here. They can do it outside in the sun. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay. Mais deux descadènes pour moi est un film extraordinaire. Film makeup is never easy for actors. In some cases, it's arduous, but obviously, it's essential to achieve the realism Herzog seeks. Autrefois, il y avait une fenêtre. J'ai habité là, moi, au, au XVIIe siècle. Qu'est-ce que vous faisiez euh, Là, je m'occupais d'une 
vieille dame. Je lui apprenais à lire. Je, je faisais des lectures en français. Aussi. Das tun Sie sich mal hochbeugen, Sie da? Dass Sie nicht ganz krumm werden. Like Fellini, Werner Herzog pays particular attention to faces. He selects each and every extra carefully because they all contribute to the overall fabric. Okay. Gut, ja, und ich meine, dass hier diesen Dialog, das Mehrdialog hat ja sowieso der Rennfield in dem Fall, weil von dem geht der Impuls aus. Herzog discusses an upcoming scene with the actor portraying Jonathan Harker, Bruno Gans. Ich würde gerne so machen, dass wir relativ bald ja. zum Mittag schon essen, dass sie relativ bald fertig sind, dass wir dann möglichst am Set Zeit haben. Ein bisschen früher als geplant, wenn das geht. Gut, ja. The first shot is a difficult one because we have to cover the entire room and it's not that much dialogue and once we have to, to change all the lights then it's not such a problem anymore, we have time in between I see, okay. and, and then we, we switch uh, the locations, they go downstairs to, uh, to the maps and look, mm -hmm. over, look it over and then there is more dialogue so we have a, a, a couple of breaks in between. Why? <laughs> we all have to help, and we we have no positions like, let's say, a man who does the sound exclusively, or he's a still photographer, Dr. Claude Chiarini. He's a psychiatrist. <laughs> he does the still photos, but we all help together. We feel as a more like a community. There is a definite communal feeling in the making of a Herzog film. Cast and crew often have meals together. Since the beginning, to, to, to do the entire dialogue from uh, the beginning. Uh -huh. From where? From here. Uh -huh. from here. Uh -huh. Archer. Okay, where do you want us to? Uh, to rehearse the dialogue so that it's that, that they say it correctly. Okay. Can we do it in there? No, sure. no. We need the space. We have to okay. move up so that we walk. You can say yeah. it in there. Good. Let's walk. Let's roll yeah. and walk and do it. <laughs> uh, wherever you want. Maybe, maybe do it here so that I can listen to it once in a while. Ah, Parker, come here. I have a task for you. Something I don't dare trust to anyone else. A little bit of blood. And then a big laughter, of course. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. And then it would be good. It would be good to get out. Yeah, but, but then you would already walk down. Yeah, then, then we, we cut our position. But the thing is, uh, also, always you do things like that. Yes, yes, of course, of course. 
but but I think uh, his his dialogue. Maybe you should rehearse it a little bit more so that they don't make major mistakes in the wording of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. will shoot a scene any number of times until the results are just what he's after, such as this scene between Harker and Renfield. Gut. Können wir die Kamera rauf tun? Das gibt ein bisschen Umbau jetzt. So, es kommt die hinten weg. Ja. Ich brauche ihn auch nur so ein bisschen rücken, dann ist der Abstand kleiner wieder. Oder ist das ein Problem wegen den Scheinwerfern? Martin, die steht oben irgendwo. Count Dracula sent me a letter from Transylvania. <laughs> he wants to buy a house here. Of course, it's an enormous trip to see him. Where is that? Oh, the Carpathian Mountains, isn't it? Over, yes. Over the Carpathian Mountains. Where is it? Over the Cup. Was sag ich denn? Oh dear, oh, das wäre interessant. Over the Cup. Over. Yeah. Over the Carpathian Mountains, isn't it? Yes, but on the other hand, there will be a large commission. Well, then I could get a nicer house for Lucy. Yes. She deserves a finer setting. Well, uh, when you say this here, come back from Transylvania, there should be a, a, a good land. Yeah. Oh, yes. I didn't, I didn't. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ton. So. 3D1. <lacht> you are very kind, Mr. Renfield. Count Dracula. <lacht> Send me a letter from Transylvania. <lacht> He wants to buy a house here. Of course. It's an enormous trip to see him. <lacht> Where is that? Over the Carpathian Mountains, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but in the other way, there will be a large commission. <laughs> Then I could get a nicer house for Lucy. She deserves a finer setting. Yes. Well, this won't be easy. She deserves a finer setting. Bis, bisschen in einem Zug mehr. Und dieses, vielleicht sagen Sie es alles ein bisschen ruhiger, auch over the cafe for now. 187. Ähm, können wir mal die, die Reko hochholen oder jemand, er hat ein bisschen auch. Oder irgendjemand. Wenn nicht, Josh, wenn sie nicht da ist, tun wir nur mit einem 
mit einem Tempotaschentuch hier ein bisschen abtupfen. Ton. 3D2. <lacht> You're very kind, Mr. Renfield. Count Dracula. <lacht> Send me a letter from Transylvania. <laughs> he wants to buy a house here. Of course, it's an enormous trip to see him. <laughs> Where is that? Over the Carpathian Mountains, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> But on the other hand, there will be a large commission. So you are standing for everybody in the film, every actor? No, not really, but uh, once in a while, and I see exactly how the camera would move them. But uh, in the discussions about the contract with Isabella Acciani, I was asked for uh, a certain people for makeup and so, who, whom she knew. And I said, it's all right. But finally, they wanted to have a stand-in for her. I said, we never have a stand-in. I do stand-in for everyone. And Why do you work with such a small crew? It's not small. It is, a bigger, it is a bigger crew than I ever had before. How many people? I don't even know exactly, but behind the camera, we have about 14 people. But there will be more in Czechoslovakia because of the contract we make with the uh, Czechoslovakian uh, film industry, we have to accept more crew. It will be 100% more, so we will be about 30 people. Mm -hmm. Most of them I think I will send for, for going for swimming or something like this. How old are you? I'm 35, I will be 36 in September. How many films do you do? Well, if you include the, the shorter subjects, I've done films of one hour length. It is 17. This is the 18th film I'm, I'm making now. How old were you when you did the first one? Well, I was 14, 15 when I started, but I tried to find producers for my films, and it was always humiliations and setbacks, and everyone kicked me out of his office. But I really started when I was 19. I did my first film at the age of 19, but I had to work for two years in a steel factory at night shifts to, to have the money for doing it. But I started in 35 millimeter immediately because I wanted to be a professional. And 16 millimeter, Super 8, that is all some sort of amateurish fooling around. I thought if I had failures, I, if I fall at my face, I, I want to fall that hard that I do not recover, or I make it. You think you made it? No, no, I'm, I'm not on the other side of the river yet. I want to make once a, a film as good as Murnau's film, and then I may quit. You think you would? I don't know. Well, one film like Griffith has done, or one film like Semlia by Dovshenko, or one film like one film of Kurosawa, and then I will say that's it, enough. Ja, 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 gut. Aber es gibt noch eine andere Möglichkeit, dass ich ein Stückchen vor ihr hergehe. Murnau's Nosferatu had the subtitle A Symphony of Horror. And though Herzog chose not to use the additional title for his film, he was extremely conscious of creating just such a mood, just such an atmosphere. Like Murnau, he chose to film largely on locations. His settings, while somber and ominous, are more realistic than deformed. Therefore, only in the theme can Nosferatu be called expressionistic. Herzog's film, however, is decidedly more sensual than its famous predecessor. The presence of Isabella Gianni is, of course, a major factor. In the original, 
The role was played by Goethe Schroeder, an actress considerably less appealing than Mrs. Johnny. Sie, sie mühlt sich mehr hier mit hinein, dass sie da nicht so gut ist. Vielleicht mehr in diese Richtung, in dieser Welt, wie wir uns zu folgen, in dieser Welt, wie wir uns kennen. Mr. Bigman, Herr Bigman! The plague! The plague! What are you doing here? I must go to the town council. It's this all. It exists no more. Then I must dig a mayor. He is dead. Go home as quick as you can. I know the reason for all this evil. I know the reason for all this evil. I know the reason. I know the reason for all this evil. Yeah. Good. Isabel. Zurück, alle. Okay, iedereen terug op de plaats. Ging uitsteken. Das war. Why you should not be right? It's a city that looks like a harbor city, like in north uh, northern part of Germany. Uh, Murnau, I think, shot in Lübeck, but that was very badly destroyed. Delft is a very scenic place, and it looks like uh, like a theater, like like a stage almost. And that's what I like. It's very stylized, very idyllical. Do you have a problem to uh, get permission to shoot in the city? Uh, yes, to some extent, yes. Um, the city, for example, asks uh, me to shoot on the main square just for seeing the main square. They ask me a lot of, of money. And besides, of course, for removal of traffic signs or street posts or whatever there is, that is regular, but I would say to charge uh, money if you are naked on screen, that's all right, but a city to charge for, for its presence is, is unprecedented for me. Is it the biggest film you ever made? No, my biggest film was Aguirre, and much more difficult, of course. But all this, you should not, you should not count the difficulties. You should not count the money. You should not count the extras. What counts is what you see from the screen, nothing else. If you see us here in a hurry, nobody, nobody will ask any questions afterwards. That does not count. Or whether we fell into the sea or this all is unimportant. Remit, ich organisiere mir, ich organisiere mir die, die, die Leute, die dort kommen so dass sich die, die ersten beiden, sagen wir mal, vor der Kette getroffen haben und die nächsten kommen erst nach der Kette mit ins Bild hinein. Ja, ja. With Nosferatu, Werner Herzog enhances his position as one of the most important of contemporary filmmakers. And thanks to him and his colleagues like Fassbinder and Wenders, the German cinema is indeed enjoying a renaissance. Perhaps not yet equal in impact to that of the 1920s, but clearly the new German cinema is a force of great importance. The finished film reveals the care and attention Herzog lavished on it. Herzog's is not simply a horror film, although certainly those elements are present. He suggests a moral ambiguity in the character of Dracula. Dracula is indeed evil, but he is also a man who is suffering. A creature as frightened as he is frightening. Ah! 